Ladies and gentlemen, in yesterday's video, I gave you basically a buying plan for Bitcoin. Basically, when it is appropriate, based on macro, not based on you know personal intuition or personal circumstances, based on macro, objectively provable data, when it is safe to get back into Bitcoin. Now, that doesn't necessarily apply to you because perhaps you don't care when it's safe. Perhaps you're a very uh, you know risk tolerant person. You want to take risk, and that, that's fine for a lot of people. But it's good to know exactly what macro says because macro is objective. When you're talking about consolidation structures on concrete consolidation, you know supports and resistance zones, you can label that an objective fact. Okay, so that's what macro is, and that's how you develop macro trends. And so in this video, you know, I, I mentioned Bitcoin in yesterday's video and I gave you direct guidelines of what to look for for Bitcoin. You can go watch that if you want the full picture. Essentially, we're really simplifying it ridiculously. Uh, we're looking at like 69K, extensive candle closes over 69K, resistance support flip over 69K at a minimum. That's the previous all-time high. That would also be a break of the channel structure itself. That's essentially what we're looking for for Bitcoin. That's a very you know reductive kind of oversimplification. But you can check out yesterday's video. Today I'm looking at altcoins, okay? Because altcoins is a very different argument, right? We need to see more for altcoins than we do need to see for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the safest asset in the market. Bitcoin front runs the rest of the market as well, okay? Altcoin season, you don't see uh, altcoins ever historically, not once in the entire price history of cryptocurrency. You do not see altcoins outperforming Bitcoin without Bitcoin outperforming altcoins first, okay? Bitcoin always moves first. And that, that's why every single major altcoin season you can think of, if you're going through Bitcoin's price history, occurs after Bitcoin has seen an impulse to the upside. So for example, 2020, if we're just taking a random example here, Bitcoin moved way, way, way massively. I mean, it moved all the way from 3,000 to around 57K before altcoins even started to show any significant signs of life. And then we saw the massive altcoin season between Bitcoin moving from just 58K to 69K, right? Bitcoin had already seen most of its move. So there's a difference in altcoin and Bitcoin investing. And a lot of what we can do here is hammer it down to charts like Bitcoin dominance, to charts like Ethereum BTC, and actually take specific altcoin examples. We're looking at a Matic, Beam, and Peep, just to give you an idea of how to pick the exception. If you want to pick the exception, you know, if you want to try hunt altcoins before the market actually favors altcoins, you can. There's a specific way to do that. I'll show you that at the end of the video. But first, I need to show you uh, what the market says and, and how to trade and invest based on what the macro says, right? So hopefully you understand that little introduction there. Before we get into it, let's look into one single thing. And that is the Bitunix exchange. If you want an exchange with uh, you know, hundreds of trading pairs, an exchange that's never been hacked before, an exchange that is globally accessible, regardless of KYC, no KYC required, you can check out Bitunix. And with my referral link down below, you will get a 15% trading fee discount on every single buy and sell you make linked to your account if you use my link to sign up below. So go ahead and do that. You're also getting up to 5,500 US dollars in trading rewards. Uh, just by using my link down below and you can see it on the screen right there. I'm not making it up. There it is highlighted. So check that out if you're interested. Let's get into the content. Right, so prerequisite to even touching altcoins. If we're talking again, I'm just going to one more time just explain this so I don't have to keep going through it throughout the video. If we're talking about, okay, macro, macro scale, I don't, I don't care what your personal preferences are. doesn't matter to me. doesn't matter what your risk tolerance is. We're talking about macro. There's absolutely no reason whatsoever to touch altcoins unless Bitcoin's in a breakout. That's just simply true, objectively speaking, okay? Uh, that's macro. So until Bitcoin has done what it needs to do, altcoins are completely off the table. We shouldn't be touching them. Uh, okay, when should we touch them? Well, first and foremost, Bitcoin needs to break out. That's number one. Number two is this. Bitcoin dominance, the chart that measures the strength of altcoins against Bitcoin in a percentage format, right, needs to break down. Now, this chart is currently at 58.99%, which means in English, 58.99% on every single dollar in cryptocurrency right now is in Bitcoin. And the remaining percentage, right, the remaining 41% is in altcoins. So 41% of the money is in altcoins, 58% of the money is in Bitcoin. That means that when this chart moves to the upside, it means that more and more of the percentage cut of money in cryptocurrency is in Bitcoin. Therefore, if it moves to the upside, Bitcoin is gaining dominance in the market. Therefore, very simply and objectively, Bitcoin is on a generalized scale 
outperforming altcoins. That doesn't mean there aren't exceptions. Yes, there will be altcoins that outperform Bitcoin, even in a Bitcoin dominated market. But again, if we're talking about macro, we need to follow the trend. The trend is when Bitcoin dominance rises, Bitcoin, generally speaking, is outperforming altcoins. Therefore, it is generally unfavorable to hold altcoins in that market environment. And that's what the market environment has been since basically 2022, right? Since the bear market, we've seen Bitcoin dominance gradually rise for, for over two years now. So Bitcoin has been the dominant force in the market. This is why on this YouTube channel, I have pretty much warned against massive altcoin bags. I've warned against significant altcoin investing for this entire period of time because Bitcoin dominance has yet to break down. It's only when Bitcoin dominance breaks down that we see an altcoin season. You look at any of the periods of time in history where you've seen those massive 100x altcoins left, right, and center, it's been right here and it's been right there. During the 2017 bull market and during the 2021 bull market, both of which times occurred after Bitcoin itself had seen a significant move to the upside, hence triggering the altcoin season. That is how uh, cryptocurrency works. So you have the money flow chart in cryptocurrency. Now, ignore the blue lines here. I'll just go ahead and delete them quickly. This is the money flow chart in cryptocurrency. Basically what it is, we have Bitcoin, we have Ethereum, we have altcoins, we have fiat. Okay, so this is how it works. Money, first and foremost, in the bear market, generally speaking, when people are fearful and they don't want high-risk investments, goes from fiat into Bitcoin. People invest into Bitcoin using fiat dollars, right? Bitcoin moves to the upside. You see the initial runs of a bull market. Bitcoin breaks all-time highs. People get a little bit more greedy. They throw their money into, alt in, into Ethereum. Ethereum leads the altcoin market. Once Ethereum has seen a little move, then altcoin starts surging to the upside. And on this phase right here, when altcoins start surging to the upside, that's when you see the massive drops in Bitcoin dominance that occurred during 2021. That's when you see maximum greed and euphoria and parabolic in the markets, uh, parabolic phase in the markets. And then from there, there's nowhere else for the money to go, right? And then everyone's already bought at a certain point and the market simply crashes downwards and the money goes right back into fiat, restarting the cycle. That's how money flow in cryptocurrency works. That's objectively true. It's happened in every single phase of the four-year cycle since 2012. And there's no reason at this point to believe that it's not happening again. Therefore, we need Bitcoin dominance to break down in order for us to touch altcoins on a macro scale, uh, on a justifiable macro scale. And, and, and when will that breakdown occur? Well, I'm personally looking at this yellow line on the screen right here, right? This is where we get into the nitty gritty. The yellow line on the screen, this support line that has been bolstered Bitcoin dominance throughout basically the entirety of this upwards move, as well as uh, the weekly chart RSI, and there is a support line, by the way, on the weekly chart RSI as well, right here. I'll make it. I'll just keep it yellow so you can see it. That support line right there. Both of those lines, in my view, need to break down in order to confirm a downwards trend on Bitcoin dominance. Okay. Now, why is this yellow line relevant? Well, it's relevant because that line formed first, or we broke that line first in March 2023, and it formed first in January 2023. If you go to the Bitcoin chart, what you will see is that in January 2023, that is exactly when Bitcoin broke above the resistance zone required to mark the bottom of the bear market, right? And March 2023 is exactly when Bitcoin entered its first consolidation phase above the bear market resistance zone. So these lines have cyclical relevance. They have cyclical relevance relating back to the 2022 bear market bottom, okay? So I think this yellow line here on Bitcoin dominance is very important. And therefore, until that breaks, I will not be 100% confident in the altcoin market outperforming Bitcoin. I will not be 100% confident in uh, altcoins outperforming Bitcoin and hence an altcoin season. And so for that reason, I'd pretty much be, you know, on a macro scale waiting you know, before I sit here and say, oh, altcoins are perfectly safe to touch now, I'd be waiting for that one to break. That doesn't mean we can't touch altcoins, okay? It just means uh, that on a macro scale, that's what the market's telling us. Same thing with RSI. There's a yellow line on the RSI, very clear yellow line, four separate retests. That would need to break as well. Ideally, they'd break at the same time. And when both those things happen, that, in my view, would fundamentally trigger an altcoin season that is fully confirmable by the charts. Uh, similar analysis can be done on Ethereum BTC, which is a chart that measures the strength of Ethereum against Bitcoin. Uh, we have on Ethereum BTC the opposite though. So Ethereum BTC needs to go up because Ethereum BTC going up means Ethereum is uh, doing better than Bitcoin. It, it, the evaluation of one Ethereum is going up in comparison to the valuation of, of one Bitcoin. So I would be looking for Ethereum BTC to break its RSI weekly resistance line. There's no specific price chart line that I'd like to see broken. Perhaps we could say uh, this, you know, 0 0.05240 level, that would be something because that's a level we held throughout the, the last bull market. But I, you know, for the most part, 
that's just additional confirmation. I'd be looking mainly at Bitcoin dominance, at the things I just showed you to look at on Bitcoin dominance, the yellow support line and the RSI and the price chart. Ethereum BTC breaking up would be great as well, specifically on the RSI. But if Bitcoin dominance is broken down fully, uh, and we've seen the parabolic bull market start on Bitcoin, I wouldn't necessarily be waiting for Ethereum BTC to do the same thing. I think at that point, you can pretty much predict that it will. So that's you know what to look for, for macro confirmation of an altcoin season. Uh, now, you know, if you wanted to try and you know hunt those exceptions, if you wanted to try and invest in altcoins before all of this is confirmed, you can, okay? Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say you should because I don't think that's responsible for me to do as the host of a YouTube channel with uh, 28,000 or whatever subscribers and, and consistently getting 5,000 views per video. I don't think it's, it's very responsible of me to sit here knowing full well that there are thousands of people watching this who do not have anywhere near the level of market experience I have. Uh, to say, oh, go and buy altcoins when the, ma the macro is not favoring you to do so. So I'm not going to say you should do this, okay? Uh, but if you wanted to, if for some reason your risk tolerance is high enough and you want to try and catch altcoins before the altcoin season starts, first and foremost, I'll give you a warning. People have tried to do that before, right? And every single time people have tried to do that in the last two years, they have been wrong and Bitcoin dominance has continued rising. So you need significant evidence to justify that, but that's your decision, right? If you do try to do that, don't fall into this pitfall. A lot of people, right, seem to think that, you know, if you're looking for altcoins to buy, you need to buy altcoins that are still very, very low in price. They're, they're on their bear market lows like Matic. People will say Matic's a great example of a coin you should buy because look, it can't go any lower. Look, it's on its bear market lows. It literally can't go any lower. This is a very big misconception in my opinion, okay? If a coin is still on its bear market lows after two consecutive years of macro bullish price action across the market, that is not a good sign. That is a sign that the coin is dead, right? That is a sign that even though the market has been bullish for two years, even though Bitcoin is 3x higher than where it was two years ago, this coin is down, right? This coin is literally sitting exactly where it was when Bitcoin was at 20k. That's not a sign that, oh, we've got super strong support here, we should buy. That's a sign that this coin has failed to gain any traction whatsoever and failed to show strength even wake of Bitcoin having strength. Now, doesn't necessarily mean the coin's gonna die forever, right? The coin will go up if the market booms, if we do see an altcoin season, it will no doubt rise, but the rise could be pathetic in comparison to coins that have really shown life. The fact of the matter is we are not at the bear market bottom, right? We are not at the bear market bottom. We're not at the lows. And therefore hunting coins that are at the lows is a misconception. You shouldn't be doing that because you're denying the reality of the market. You're looking for low prices, even when low prices might not be a good thing. What you should be looking at are coins like Beam, for example. Now, I'm not going to give you specific recommendations. I'm giving an example here. I don't know much about Beam. I'm just giving an example. Beam has shown that even though you know it, it, it saw a massive correction downwards, it is still significantly higher than where it was in the bear market lows, right? It means that people still care about this coin. There were buyers there to support this coin even when the market was rough. It has found a higher low. It's got a clear breakout point. When that point breaks, that's when you invest. Same thing with PEEP, okay? PEEP showing massive strength even since the bear market, right? It was way down here in the bear market. Now it's way up here. It's followed the market trends. It's held strength against Bitcoin. It's seen higher lows. Yes, you know, you're not going to get the best price, but what do you mean by the best price? The best price is relevant to value of the coin. Matic is down in the dumps because no one cares about Matic right now. Matic is down in the dumps because no one wants to touch Matic, right? No one wanted to touch Matic up here. That's how the market works, okay? So the fact that it's down at bear market lows is not inherently a good sign. Just because the numbers lower doesn't really mean anything right what matters is returns and returns come when a coin has buyers when you, there's strength shown on a coin when the coin is live and active that's what we have on coins like peep and beam i'm not saying you should buy peep and beam at all i'm not saying that at all i'm using them as examples i'm saying that coins that are on their bear market lows or below them are not good investments just because the price is low and i wanted to clear that up very directly so guys with that said i hope you found that video useful again Recapping, we need to see Bitcoin dominance actually roll over properly on both the price chart and on the RSI. Probably need to say, see the same thing on Ethereum BTC, uh, you know, move to the upside. And we need to see Bitcoin itself skyrocket to the upside before altcoins actually become a solid investment on a macro scale, right? Before altcoins start outperforming Bitcoin. That's the simple reality. And, and that's the objective reality as well. So I don't really care if you disagree with me. I, I, I know this is true. This is what the charts definitively say. Uh, so that's the simple reality, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.
Again, check out the Bitunix exchange for a 15% trading fee discount using my link down below. Uh, I hope you enjoy that discount. It's very substantial. It brings the price of trading on this exchange lower than pretty much any competitor in the market. Never been hacked before. Global non KYC, 5,500 USD trading, uh, 5,000 US. Sorry, 5,500 USD bonus for using my referral link as well. Check that out down below if you're interested. I'll mention two more things. One of them is the VIP group on Telegram, guys. If you're interested in getting altcoin trading signals four times a week posted by myself with the uh, buying prices, with the selling points, uh, take profit points, etc., in video format, you can get them in VIP right there. Again, 78% win rate, two years of trading results, very solid stuff. It's fully transparent. I don't hide anything because I'm proud of my results there. You're also getting access to a group chat with 120 members. So we have lively discussions in there pretty often when the market moves. If you want that, check it out down below. And I'll mention one more thing, and that is the Become a Trader 10 unit course by the Crypto Academy, teaching you how to trade. Now, there's plenty of courses in the crypto market, and I'll say outright, 95% of them are absolute scams. They give you three hours of content in like a YouTube video and they ch charge hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars. That's not what we do here. We have 20 to 30 hours of content through 10 separate PowerPoints, through 10 separate worksheets, through a trading journal, through diagrams, through practical work, everything you need, right? In a university style course to trade is here, or at least 99% of the things you need is here. And it's on sale right now, so check it out. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you soon.